All right, this piece is called Rodent Scholar. Alas, what do you have to say for yourself now, tiny oracle? Tell those of us out here who are curious about one as stoic and solemn as yourself about that imminent destiny you once saw in a vision. Have you met up with that glorious fate of yours in that burrow we call home? If you did hold such a prize within that tunnel to nowhere, it would be a fair to be assumed that you would be the only one to know about it. The world outside is safe outside. Are you safe and sound as well? It seems to me that once long ago, your wisdom ached to get out your door. Some recall how your words ran along the streets and alleys with a life of their own, confronting the listener with a brazen resolve. Nowadays, that same voice won't even answer a knock on its door. Perhaps you concluded that talking to yourself was more enlightened policy. It didn't have to end up this way. You keep forgetting that you reminded yourself of that. It seems to me as well that you were backed into your refuge far more than you climbed up to it, as you like to think. Call it a sanctuary of wisdom, call it a studio, call it a crucible if that sounds any better. In my eyes, it's quite coming to resemble a grave. It's no secret who those walls were engineered to keep out. Did you not intentionally provoke and widen the distance between them and yourself, and quite self-righteously, I might add? Could you possibly have acknowledged that margin by reaching across it instead? You were often misunderstood. Was it essential you took it so personally? You might consider along with that your own success in understanding them. Hearing you label them as parasites strike, strikes me as exceedingly amusing coming from a committed scavenger of life. Perhaps the difference is you find a living host undigestible. Would you consider that your disconnected superiority was a little more than a burrow in itself? Martyrdom has a much better ring to it than cowardice, wouldn't you say? At last, I have this question to ask of you. Would the odds favor someone so gifted ending up stuck in the same hole for good? One might draw the conclusion that there are problems you don't really want solved. No point in troubling yourself over it. It's too late now anyway. All that can be heard from you these days is the occasional squeak and the sound of chewing on an old notebook. Maybe this was your destiny. Regardless, you seem to have found an appropriate place in the food chain.